Hello everybody, today we'll be talking about brainstem, the anterior view, and all the cranial nerves that are associated with it. Um, first, uh, I drew the structure as a lady so you can remember it. Um, the major structures are uh, the optic chiasm, um, infundibulum, cerebellar peduncle, mammillary body, uh, middle cerebellar peduncle, pons, pyramids, and inferior olive. Um, also now I would like to talk about the um, associated cranial nerves. Uh, the cranial nerves are usually um, either motor, which are the blue circles, or sensory, the orange circles, or both of them together, which is the red circles. Now I would start with the first one, which is the olfactory, represented by these two tentacles. Um, the olfactory is number one, and it's a sensory nerve, as, uh, has to do with the smell. And it's the only cranial nerve that is attached immediately to the cerebrum. Now, um, number two is the optic nerve, which is an extension from the optic chiasm. Um, it's sensory and it's, it has to do with vision. It crosses at optic chiasm. Cranial nerve number three is the oculomotor. And it's blue, which means that it's motor. And it has to do with controlling the eyeball and controlling the iris, the lens. Uh, cranial nerve number four is the trochlear nerve. The trochlear nerve is a motor nerve and it controls uh, the smallest eye muscle, superior oblique. It's the only cranial nerve that, ex that exits from dorsal aspect of the brainstem. Now I would like to talk about the trigeminal nerve, which is number five. Trigeminal nerve is, uh, it, it has both sensory and motor. Sensory has to do with the face, somatic sensory, and the motor has to do with the chewing muscles. Brachiometric motor, ophthalmic maxillary mandibular. Number six is the abducens, which is here. Abducent nerve, number six, is a motor nerve, and it abduct, that's where the name comes from, abducens, abduct the eyeball via the lateral rictus muscle. Cranial nerve number seven is the facial nerve. The facial nerve is also both, has to do with this, it does somatic and motor, sorry, I mean sensory and motor. Sensory has taste receptors, visceral effects, and motor has to do with the facial expression, Brinchium, brinchiumeric efferent and visceral efferent. Now number eight is the vestibulococular, which does not appear here, which appears better on the posterior view, not the anterior view. I will talk about it in the in the next uh, slide. Number nine is the glossopharyngeal. Glossopharyngeal is here, and it, it has also both sensory and motor function. The sensory is associated with the tongue and pharynx. The motor has to do with the swallowing and salivary gland. Vagus is is kind of the wandering that wander all over the body, goes all over the place. Also have both function, sensory and motor. Vegas is here, and its sensory is visceral sensory. Visceral means to the organs, not to the soma somatic or the body. Uh, in the esophagus and respiratory tract, motor has to do with the heart, um, glands, respiratory tract, stomach, intestine, gallbladder. This is all the motor of the organ of the visceral um, of the organ organs. Now, uh, accessory spinal, which is number. Um, uh, 11 um, is here, uh, sorry, the accessory motor, and it's also motor, that's why it's in a blue circle, has to do with the swallowing, vocal cords, and hypoglossa, which is the last one, number 12, uh, hypoglossa, has, it's a motor one, and has to do with the tongue movement. Um, now, I would like to mention uh, two main uh, important aspects of these cranial nerves. We have five five cranial nerves that, have, that serve the tongue, which is the trigeminal, 
facio, hypoglossal, accessory, and glossopharyngeal. All these cranial nerves serve the tongue. That's why when the doctor is examining the patient, they usually ask him to stick the tongue and see if, they're, if all the cranial nerves are fine or not. And there's another important number, which is number three, which are the three cranial nerves that serve the eye, which are the oculomotor, number three, trochlear, number four, and abducens, number six. I hope that was helpful. Look at the image and try to draw it yourself, and that's how you will never forget it. Take care.